Let me explain you working with tables in database. Let me first tell you how to create a table. In database window, click on the tables icon on the left and then select the option create table in design view. Base will open a table structure for us in the table design, displaying the three columns named as field name, field type and description. Create a structure for the student table. Enter the field name for the first field, roll number in the field name column. Field name acts as a label which tells the user about the type of information or data to be stored in the field. Press the tab key to move to the field type column. By default, text watchar appears in the field type column. Click on the drop down arrow and select the integer field type from the displayed list. Press the tab key to move to the description column. In this column, you can give any comments related to the field. This is an optional step. Press the tab key again and the cursor will move to the field name column in the next row. Repeat this process until you create all the required fields of a table and set their properties. To set fields properties, click on the field name for which you want to set the field properties. You will observe that the field properties related to the particular field appears in the field properties area. Set the properties of all the fields as required. After finishing the task, you must save the table either by clicking on the save button on the standard toolbar or save option from the file menu. The save as dialog box appears. Define the name for the table in the table name text box and click on OK button. The table is now added to the database window. Primary key In table design view, right click on the green arrow or gray area around the field that you want to set as the primary key. The entire row gets highlighted. Click on the primary key option from the context menu. The field will be set as the primary key indicated by a small key in the field selector column. Click on the close button to close the table. Base prompts a message window reminding you to save changes. Click on the yes button to save the changes. Table will be closed. Let us share an important tip. To remove the primary key property from a field, select the primary key option from the context menu by right clicking on the selected field. Let me tell you how to enter data in a table. Select the table that you want to open from the table pane of the database window. Double click on it to open the table. It will look like calc spreadsheet displaying all the fields defined in the structure. Apart from fields, you will also find a blank row within an asterisk symbol. Type the data in the respective fields. Press either the Enter key or the Tab key to move to the next field. When the data is entered in a row, a new blank row will appear automatically. Save the data you have entered by clicking on the Save Current Record button from the standard toolbar. Let us discuss about manipulating the data. To add a new record, select the Insert then go to Record option from the menu bar. Or simply start typing in the row below the last added record. And save the record by clicking on Save Current Record button. To delete a record, 
select the record by clicking on the row header. Select the option Delete Record from the Edit menu or select the entire row. Right click on the row header and select the Delete Rows option from the context menu. Base prompts you to confirm the deletion. Click on Yes to confirm and observe the change in the table. Update a record in a table. Double click on the cell where you want to make changes. Type the new value in the field. A pencil icon appears to indicate the edit mode. Viewing the table. To view a table and its data, double click the table name present in the tables pane of the database window. The table will open in table data view displaying all its records. Let me tell you how to manage fields in design view. Adding a field. Select the table from the database window and right click on it. Select the edit option from the context menu. The table design window appears. Place the cursor at the end of the last field and start typing the field name. Press the tab key to define the field type and description of newly defined field. Or, right-click anywhere on the row header, select the Insert Rows option from the context menu. The blank field structure will be inserted. Save changes to your table by clicking on the Save button. Deleting a field Select the field by right-clicking on the Row Selector button and choose the Delete option from the context menu. The selected field will be removed from the table. Renaming a field. Select the field that you want to rename. Type the new name and press Enter key. The name will be replaced. Click on Save button to save changes. Moving a field. Right click on the row header of the field that you want to move. Select the Cut option. Place the cursor in the row where you want to move the field. Right-click on it and select the Paste option from the context menu. Copying a field. Right-click on the row header of the field. Select the Copy option from the context menu. Place the cursor in the row where you want to copy the field and right-click on it. Now select the Paste option from the context menu. The field will be copied. Let me tell you how to sort data within a table. Select the desired field by clicking on the row header that you wish to sort. Click either Sort Ascending or Sort Descending icon present on the standard toolbar and observe the change in the table. Sorting in multiple fields. Select the field by clicking on the column header. Click on Sort button from the toolbar. The Sort Order dialog box appears. Select the field that you want to sort from the drop-down list under the field name. Select the order in which you want to sort your data in a table under the Order section. Select another field from the and then drop down box and choose the desired order. Click OK and observe the change in the table. Let us learn about opening the existing database. Click on the file menu and select the Open option. The open dialog box appears. Select the database that you wish to open and click on Open button. The selected database gets open. Let me tell you how to exit the database. You can close the table by clicking on the Close button. Now select the Exit LibreOffice option from the File menu.